Hey everybody, thank you for joining me for today's show. Now life got in the way a little bit earlier this week, so there was no Sterling Monday show. But today, I've got a very nice show for you, featuring a vegan soap, a new vegan soap from Phoenix and Bo. And, uh, comes in a 40 gram puck size. There we are, there are three scents available. This one, as you can see, is the Lavendula. I'm using a very inexpensive mild razor today. This is the Gillette 7 o'clock razor that comes out of India. And I have a Tatra razor blade in there from the Czech Republic. Going to be using my Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Solar Flare brush today, and you can see I've already got that lathered up. So we will get started and put some of this lather on my face. Now, this is the second time I've used this soap, it's a little more strongly scented than usual from Phoenix and Bow is a very nice scent of what I call a French lavender. It's a very nice lavender scent but there is also a hint of orange and grapefruit. On the soap and on the brush it smells of lavender and as you smell that for a while the orange and the grapefruit sneak in to your senses and uh, it really lifts the soap. As I said, it is part of their new a vegan range and everything in the packaging is 100% biodegradable, including the ink on the package. Now I have to tell you that this is incredibly slick. It really, really is. There's some, there's five oils in the soap, including vegetable glycerin, castor oil, safflower oil, sunflower and coconut oil. And there are three butters, shea, kokum and cocoa butter. And in this one, there is also the oil from orange peel. It lathers up very nicely, perhaps slightly, very slightly more work than a non-vegan soap, but it's no problem to lather this up and it lathers up to be nice and thick. It's not all bubbly and airy um, and as you can see it goes on beautifully. It feels nice and thick going on and it will take lots of water this soap. Although please bear in mind this is only the second time I've used it so but it is a lovely lovely slick soap nice lavender scent I'm very pleased with it. It comes just in a post like this and it is £6.99 and that includes free postage with that price. If you're overseas it is £35 if you spend £35. Sorry, the soap itself is not £35, it's still £6.99. But if you spend £35 you get free international postage and I think that's very good. So the razor today has been loaned to me by Steve. You can see it has Gillette on the head cap there. It is a hollow plastic handle. It reminds me somewhat of the, the Slim Twist with the tapered around handle. Was that the G2000? 
you like call that? I can't quite remember. But of course, that riser was a twist to open riser, and this one is styled on the tech plate. It is an aluminium guard plate with a Zamac head cap, and it is actually a very nice shave. Now, Steve mentioned that he bought this for about £2. Well, I can only find them on eBay for about five or six pounds. But they are a very, very good shave. Especially for such a small amount of money. And they are a nice mild shave. But really nice and effective. I like this one. I really like this one. The handle of course being higher is nice and light. And uh, the balance point is right up there. Um, so if you hold it where I'm holding it, it's maybe a little head heavy, but to be honest, the razor is so lightweight, it's not noticeable, but, um, I think this qualifies very nicely as a razor that would be very good for a beginner to a more traditional shaving method. And for somebody that likes a mild but effective shave. I feel it's kind of down at the level of uh, a Mura R89. But it feels different to that. Um, this is my third shave with it and it's taken me a little while. I don't know if you can hear that. But it's taken me a little while just, get, just to get the angle just right. Um, you can, of course, you can, of course, take the handle off and put a different handle on. It will fit. Um, yeah, I think for the money. For not very much money, this is a really good razor. Um, I know it's not the most stylish thing you've ever seen, but I don't feel it's too bad. Now it's called, if you search for it on eBay, it's called the Gillette 7 o'clock Sterling Razor. And it just sells in a very simple flat piece of cardboard with some cellophane or whatever it is, hard plastic over the front of it. Now that there is the angle, it's really good at that angle. <coughs> I had an odd thing the other day, let me tell you about this with this Tartra blade. I used it in a fat boy and uh, 
was using it with no pressure as we are often told when uh, we're starting out to shave and let the weight of the razor do the work and you know the blade was tugging a little bit um, you wouldn't say it was uncomfortable it definitely wasn't smooth and it wasn't as I remembered the last one I used being um, so I applied a little bit more pressure and pressed on the face a little more and it became a really nice blade and I just wondered if anyone else had had that experience and um, maybe that's something something to think about you know I've had blades before that uh, haven't agreed with me or I haven't liked I'll give you an example the Astra SPs I never used to like them when I was beginning because they were uncomfortable and pulled I think they're a great razor blade now and I just wonder if I'd gone if I could go back if I pressed a little more firmly just you know a smidgen uh, whether that would have changed the behavior of the blade it's just something I noticed this last week and uh, obviously I've been thinking about it now this soap oh it's beautiful it's beautifully scented it's very moisturizing for my skin in the post shave Now I used it the other day and as I went on through my show and I was adding a little drop more water to my face and I was dipping the razor a little more often in my water the slickness on this soap is about the best I've come across so far during that shave and perhaps well it's obviously good soap but perhaps dipping the razor and getting that sort of extra drop of water on the blade really perhaps it really helped so I've been thinking about it quite a lot this week as you can tell And the second pass, this feels really very gentle. The first pass, there is, well, I guess just a tiny little bit of blade feel. When you're shaving those longer bristles, um, in the second pass, that's all gone. And yet you can see it's taking the soap from my face. I really don't like it when I shave with a razor. And it doesn't clear the soap. I like to have... You know, when I've taken... I like to have a nice clear face. So I can see where I've shaved. I somehow feel I'm getting a better shave if I do that. It's for that reason that I've never liked a clear shave gel.
something caught me there. I know what it was, that is my trouble spot and I just went slightly the wrong way. Oh, it's good stuff. It's nice to uh, try a little bit of lavender scented soap again. I'm not a huge fan of lavender, but I do like it now and again. I think this 40 gram size is quite nice with the free postage as well. It kind of suits me a 40 gram size. It's, um, you know, the soap's not going to last forever. It's nice for the den. Now, I've been enjoying this brush. Part of the reason I enjoy it is because just get a drop more soap out of the bowl part of the reason I enjoy it is because it is styled on a vintage brush an Erskine American brush and uh, I've been looking online this week at some vintage brushes because uh, I love those early American brushes, of course, they're becoming more rare and the prices are going up, even for the ones that are really shabby. Occasionally you'll get one that looks really, really nice, which has the lettering still perfectly stamped in them. But as I say, they are getting more and more rare, so it is... Brushes like this that are sort of come to the fore, styled in that old way. The original, I'll just turn it to one side there, has a little bit more shoulder on the ferrule uh, than this one. But uh, yeah, I love those old brushes. We in the UK, in terms of shaving brushes, we were just miles behind America. America seem to have those really iconic, stylish brushes that are so very popular. Um, and I'm thinking of Rubber Set, Ever Ready, Strong Set. Um, not only did they make nice brushes, but they came in a variety of different colours as well. So a beautiful Strong Set on one of the groups that somebody picked up at a, a fair or a second hand shop or something like that. It looked like new and it had a beautiful amber handle. I love all of that, you see. I do like those. Um, I do like the Heritage Collection brushes. Now they are nice. I haven't got any and the reason is because they are all 26 and 28 millimeter knots nowadays. I don't know if, I think originally it was a 24 millimeter knot. I don't think I'm mistaken. So if you have one and you're thinking, I need a bigger one. Um, <laughs> then I would love uh, one of those vintage collection razors, but with a 24 millimeter knot. Apparently, I did write to that gentleman, and apparently everyone was just wanting the bigger knots. So the 24s are gone. I must say I've got on that a little bit too late. I'm gutted. <laughs> I notice there is a yaki brush that has come out that is styled 
on an old ever ready brush. Um, there are a couple, one is a 24 and one is a 22. And it's funny, isn't it, when you, uh, or when I, when I look for a, a vintage brush, as I've said, I like to have the writing. Let me just grab a brush and show you. Back in a moment. Drop it. There we go, I'm back. So I've got my rubber set 203 here, and you can see that the uh, the writing on the ferrule is you know really pretty good. It's not been worn away, it's not been sanded down to too much to, to make it shiny and hence getting rid of the writing. So when I'm looking for a vintage brush, I like to have the writing just so because I know it's a vintage brush and yet with a modern brush say this yaki brush here now I would hate it if that was written actually on the ferrule although there isn't one in this case but you take my point I find it a very a very strange thing maybe it's not just personal to me up a little bit here there's plenty of slickness I mean don't you worry about that there really is I uh, think I probably didn't quite get my full measures worth today plenty in the brush so we'll take that out and just tap that on There we are. I say, I've just washed my hands. This phenomenal slickness it really is. It's nice to see something slightly different coming out of the UK. Uh, From Hitchin in Surrey. This is how mild this is. You can see me going against the grain on my face. Doing a little bit of buffing there, so. There seems to be just the point with this where you get it just so and there's a little bit of blade feel but you go that way or that way just a fraction and it's gone um, there we are now the water all over the floor as usual but that was a great show today I've had a close shave and I can feel wiping my face with this towel that there is loads of slickness on my skin and you saw me add quite a bit of water there I'll try to drop more yeah. 
going to use my German aftershave today, Tooth. And this is a perfume free, sensitive aftershave, which was sent to me by my friend Sven. So we'll just put some of that on. A little bit of alcohol in here. I tell you, that is an incredibly good shade. With a very, very inexpensive razor. That's a great shave, in fact. So there we are, that is my shave for this week. Uh, thank you for joining me and being a part of that. I hope you have a good weekend. I'll see you next time around. You take care now. Bye-bye.